Welcome back everyone to my Let's Play a Jade Empire. It is time for me to make my acting debut. I think. Have you read the script? Do you feel one with Lady Fourteen Flowers yet? I'm ready. Let's get this show on the road. That's the spirit! Let's get you into the back and costumed up, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Watch closely. We shall see if the informant was accurate. Imagine condemning the Jade Empire at its heart. The fools. All of Heaven's blessings guide him, but Sagacious Tien has been absent from the palace for such a time. His conquests of the Northern Kingdoms have kept his light from us. All the scattered kingdoms have seen the light of his rule, and our Emperor's advisors grow in number. The arable lands to the south, all the way to the useless jungles, which were left as nothing for the Monkey King, are fused into the mighty Jade Empire. To the east, Sagacious Tien has spread his light to the very waters themselves, and lo, to the west, he found enlightenment among the hills of the Six Holy Scrolls. But what word from the wastes of the Horse Lords? Ah, what is this? Why, tis Lady Fourteen Flowers. We can only hope she brings word. My dearest Lady Fourteen Flowers, under what banner does your entourage travel today? White banners fly. Peace in the north? Could this be? Have all the horse lords been subjugated so easily? Heaven smiles upon the Empire today. That it does. Your arrival here is certainly welcome as your kingdom is one of the most recent to join the Jade Empire. We have had word that the hostilities have ceased. Tell me, most gracious lady, when was this momentous decision reached? Wasn't reached? How did the heavens guide it to him? Either way, the dusk was slipping into night. You phrase that most interestingly, Lady Fourteen Flowers. Why do I sense there is more to this story? But surely the might of the Jade Empire is unquestionable, and our will to victory unswayed. And tell me, most gracious madam, when the final blow was struck, where was our noble leader? Deep in the wastes of the North? He stood at the edge of a vast plain, the ground covered in snow. Surely you mean the far edge, the horse lord camps broken behind him. There's been nothing but the gentle drafts of spring here in the Imperial City for weeks. With such a chill in the air, was this some time ago? Heaven's reach is wide. Weather's not all the same in all places. Puzzle. My lady, I sense that there is more to your story than I have gleaned. Perhaps my own perceptions blind me. It seems to me that some part of your story remains untold. Do my questions block the truth? Tell me this, if nothing else, good lady. When the cry for peace rose up, who was it that our great emperor turned to? He turned to the heavens themselves, as they had already turned to him. The heavens had turned to him? These words, are they riddles? Wait, what word is this from the front? The emperor sends word of his return. The horse lords are unconquered, but our forces were undefeatable. What happened to cease the expansion of the Empire, dear lady? The 
A shooting star traced the border of our lands. A celestial event? Most auspicious. Most auspicious. And so, our most noble emperor saw a sign from the heavens. Our mighty armies, poised to crush the horse lords and stretch the empire to the ends of the earth. But we stopped. For now, even I see that there are limits to ambition, and overreaching those limits invites nothing but disaster. All praise the emperor, for his wisdom is infinite. My lady, you have my deepest thanks for bringing this news to us. I shall inform the court immediately. What in the dragon's eye was that? I saw no treason there. Oh, the informant will suffer for a lifetime. You there, Lady Fourteen Flowers. The crowd loved it. Fantastic performance. You managed to hit every line perfectly. I'll admit that was truly memorable. Why, thank you. Our sponsor may not be happy with the version you read, but I've always preferred the old version of the play anyway. I guess Incisive Chorus put you up to this, because I know I gave you the new script to study. <laughs> Good for him. I believe I owe you an actor's fee. Enjoy. <laughs> I will. I'm glad you were here to fill in. We would have sunk faster than a bottomless boat without a solid Lady Fourteen Flowers on hand. Call my agent, darling. It was no problem. <laughs> Rather fun, really. Rather fun? Now I know you're not one of the Guild actors. They're never positive about anything. Oh well. No harm done, I'm sure. The performance wouldn't have gone on without you, professional actor or not. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have things I must attend to. And that was my acting debut. Let's go back to Incisive Chorus. I'm sure I'll have something to say. You're standing there for some reason? Waiting for a bus? Alright. I'm back. Had your, uh, moment? Did I you? did. He didn't come to watch? I never attend my own plays. No, much too nerve-wracking. Someone goes for me. She is very kind to do that. I heard how it went. Fantastic! The scholars loved it! One's already asked for a copy of the manuscript. I'm sure there will be more. Perhaps as many as three. Here, I promised you this, and you should... Have it. Yes, that's it. Enjoy and thank you so You're much. You're very welcome. Oh, so much to do. So many uh copies to make. Yes. Ha. All right, on my way to the skull garden. <sighs> Another man happy. To the Scholar's Garden it is. Jimmy the Outlander. I'm back guys, don't find me. Oh, I forgot to talk to you. Do you have anything to say to me? Always happy to help. What do you need? And what's on your mind right now? I was thinking about a story my father once told me. He was a scoundrel, but he could spin a fine yarn when he wasn't robbing caravans. Have you ever heard the tale of the Eternal Companions? I can't say I have. What brought it to mind? The Eternal Companions were a group of warriors that traveled the ancient kingdoms well before the formation of the Empire. They were said to be giants, to know styles no one could match. 
to always appear to offer their services to a kingdom when times were worst. Well, what made you think of these companions? What made me bring this up was just a simple thought. Were these companions real people once? Were they just like us? Something tells me they were, but not in the way you'd expect. You know how legends tend to grow in the telling? I think they also absorb other tales as they go. You're thinking what we're doing is another version of this tale? I doubt it. For instance, we have yet to wipe out a rival kingdom. Failing that, I'm a bit shy of 12 feet tall. Me too. The point is that when things are wrong, people believe that someone will do something about it. Whether we succeed or not, we are those someones right now. That's true. Thanks, Sky. <laughs> you can all silent on me. You're important to me in many ways. I just want you to know that I'll do anything I can to help. Anything. Just ask. You've been so needed you this far. Were you planning on a change? Well, that would be terribly out of character, wouldn't it? <laughs> no. No changes are planned on my end. We'll talk again soon, I promise. For now, let's get back to it. Right. Leave it there for now. When you return, we shall find out about this outlander. Stay with me.